new project give a name to your project we are going to create a render system project for students so i am going to give name to this project as to students students call it is going to save in visual studio 2012 projects under document location press ok it will ask for us for choosing a template i am going to use empty template after clicking ok button we reached at the solution explorer here is a project student call if you not get solution explorer go to the view go to view and click on solution explorer you will get here your project under controller there is nothing under model there is nothing under view there is nothing first of all we are going to create share view right click add new items mvc4 paste with layout browser give the name to this page first of all we need to create a folder named as shared shared and then right click on this folder add new items and we see layout give the name underscore to layout and then share create a controller named as home we are going to first login so our first controller will be named as account controller account controller click ok controller here with action method index now add a view index use layout or master page click ok Here is our index page of account controller. Create login action. Login action. Create view for login. Login. Add. Now add shared view because it was not added previously add new view mvc layout underscore new layout. add the share click ok now view is added here layout Now I am going to implement a design for this project. I have a design here. I am going to copy its content. These all files. I am going to add this in 
our project create a new folder named as design design and paste all those files in this this design has a page named as login right click view in browser I am going to wait in, in the Chrome you will see its output it is an, a simple HTML page this is the layout output of this login page we are going to design the similar page here so for this we have added these files in our project here these files are here open this login page in our project in our visual studio this project is here control a control c open your login page under view and paste that code here now you need to set up the path for that files here you have to write design name of folder so get the path of this file under CSS get this file bootstrap responsive.css find here bootstrap responsive.css this file drag and drop here you will get its path now you need to do a smaller task copy this and paste here also you need to paste this here for jQuery here. here it's done now our editing is done so to remove the extra file that we added here and also we need to set up root configuration for login page open app star root config set up account account action method login now run this file and see its output our page will come come up with this design but this is not similar to this there is a simple jQuery conflict so remove this conflict and rerun your file go to at the bottom command this extra line and see your result by refreshing your page yes it's done now both the pages having the similar look so we can start work on this this is login page when we logged in and we will get the access of other pages so after login we will go to on this page this space this is a static part or uh, 
we can say this this is this will not change to the project and this this is the menu bar it is expandable and uh, we are not going to change this menu bar throughout the project so our only part which is going to change in our project that is this part this part so we need to take this part as a render body part or this part as a layout part or here is a footer that is also not going to change in our application so <clears throat> let's design this space for us as a dashboard go to our project add a new controller named as dashboard and stop your project first dash board add here is our action method and that's when user logged in we will read it to here and design its layout first open this file in our project copy this whole bunch of code and paste this code into the layout we also need to make a dotting here as similar we done in the login page so make that editing here now editing is done and now we need to create layout as well as its menu bar our left menu and menu no script and here is content so we need to create this take this part out of here cut right here render body and paste this in add view index and add this code here also we need to add a view start page here so every page can access the layout page so create a view start page here add new page so PSHTML the name of page underscore view start start the page is here and it's containing the name of layout so it will apply the layout page on the pages that will come under the view no matter it's under a subfolder so for login we need to mark its layout now layout 
Suppose we not need the master layout on our login page because it has its own layout. So I think our design is set up. So take a deep look. We are on the login page because we set up a route for this page now we need to go on the dashboard in dashboard slash index and click here oh it's working we got our dashboard page now now our view is ready and we are going to implement response functionality we have two parts first is uh, login part and next is dashboard user can only access dashboard after login so we need to implement login functionality first if the login and username will wrong it will not proceed to the dashboard if it will be accurate or right it will proceed to the dashboard and user can do their functionality on the dashboard now we are going to implement the functionality of login action button and for this functionality please continue with the next video so